Welcome to Mystic Marie Tarot and Guidance. And damn, I'm tapped the fuck in. Hello, Aries. Welcome. Let's get into some messages. This will be for Aries. Any placement, flip and switch the masculine and feminine energies. Be sure to take what resonates only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective Aries reading. Thank you for your support in whichever way you choose to do that. I am opening a merch store, working on some uh, illusions or illustrations to put on my shirt. So guys, take a look down below. And uh, my Patreon link is also available to you. For Aries, any placement, what does Aries need to know? I got the four of cups. Some of you could be bored, discontent, feeling rejected, or getting ready to reject someone. Or you have been. Or, or this could be someone you're dealing with that is in contemplation about you. Okay, someone is definitely going through some depression. Let's see, for Aries, some of you feel detached from somewhere, somewhere you work. Somewhere you live. You could be needing to get out of nature. This guy is sitting here under a tree. Someone could be emotionally unavailable. Someone could be trying to adapt to change. They don't like the way a situation is between the two of you. Some of you could be moving across water, taking some trips. I see two areas of lakes, an ocean here. Capricorn with the two of pentacles, cancer with the four of cups. Someone was juggling you. They rejected you. Multiple scenarios is getting ready to come out in this collective Aries reading. All right, I'll clarify with a, another tarot card. Let's see. Someone could be trying to be flexible or you wish that they would have been. Or they were juggling you and another and you feel rejected, unwanted. This fell under the four cups. The moon, there's a lot of secrets, deception, fear. Okay, someone's afraid of rejection or afraid of getting hurt. They could have some suppressed trauma. Pisces. With the moon. What else? Some would say cancel. What else for Aries? King of Wands. Leo energy. This is uh afraid to take the initiative. Put themselves out there. Or they're dealing with you and another. This could be one of y'all's twin flame. Or this could be you. Let's see. What else? And the Hermit. They're in introspection. Four of Cups. Hermit is thinking about something deeply. Feeling detached disconnected wanting to follow their intuition mind over uh intuition then you got passion so someone has someone has a state of thinking a state of feeling and they are led by passion there's a magnetic attraction and confusions and illusions someone could be doing moon magic as well behind the scenes an old wizard or witch. Let's see. Let's clarify before I go too deep. <laughs> Virgo with the Hermit. Scorpio with the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And the King of Cups. There could be a masculine energy here that has conflicting, uh, internal conflicting issues here with the Five of Wands. Or there's competition with the Three of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. He needs to decide who he wants. Or this is you. Let's see. They're guided to make a decision to be more emotionally available or become that way with you. Or this is you. Angel, spirit guides, ancestors for Aries. Something has the potential to be fairly, very successful. This person could be wealthy in a spotlight. A lot of public recognition or public praise. Could be an activist. Could be a, someone who protests or something freedom fighter king of wands with the six of wands that's a visionary leader especially with the six of wands energy yeah it could be a prophet or some form of messenger with the page of wands or a singer an artist for some of you or it's just got a lot of fire and they know that there uh is a lot of potential in this connection or this is you what's the four of cups for aries any placement for the same sex relationships, the masculine energy, the the one that's more masculine for the femme on femme, one of you have more masculine qualities. The more masculine quality is having troubles with their feminine side with the moon. Okay. Eight of Pentacles is the four of cups. This is about working on something, working it out, working together. This eight of pentacles shows the behind the scenes. In most traditional decks, it's just this guy working on a lineup of pentacles. There's also someone back there, so it could be teamwork. 
so this person may ne negate, neglect, be apprehensive, or contemplating on how to come together and work towards something with you. Or this could be afraid of commitment, four cups, rejection, energy, eight of pentacles, Virgo with the eight of pentacles. Um, what's the eight of pentacles? The world. This could be afraid of commitment or closing something out. Letting it go, working on themselves, focusing on work. Something does not feel whole. This person feels like they're not where they are as well. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius, five of pentacles. There's a sense of lack, rather internally or financially, period. So someone's moping around, a bit depressed, could be missing you, or they just feel like they don't have enough, or they just feel inadequate. So they're working on themselves. Because this guy here could be... Uh, body conscious because this guy here is working on that uh sculpture there so re-sculpting themselves something does not feel content or complete for this person someone does not someone's insecure five of pentacles to the four of cups okay for some of you or there's a commitment here they're not committal and they are in something that they need to close out first so they could have rejected you ghosted you pull back Okay, or someone's past has resurfaced, world card, they need to close out that cycle. Someone could want to work on something with them. Two of Pentacles for Aries. Mm. Knight of Wands. Okay, so someone's um, going back and forth, could travel for work, or is try trying to find the bravery and the courage, the resilience. Knight of Wands is a lot of a burst of passion, but it's also hero and brave to adapt to changes or be more flexible okay or to learn how to be less passionate and more emotionally available that could be the struggle this could be you as well now this could also be a situation where someone's having sex with you and another they go back and forth between you and someone else the illusions and the deception with the moon oh this is you what's the night of wine killing me softly some of you have been back and forth with this person it's draining what's this night of wine it's nothing but sex or you want more or they want more and they know you want more they're suppressing their feelings for you what's the night of wines six of swords yeah they got it to smooth all of this shit out aquarius energy um they could want to provide for you if you have a child with them or this is someone behind the scenes trying to come into their life now they're for you men i got a specific situation some of you are dealing with a particular person their past is well for you masculine energies for the same sex relationships for you masculine energy someone is dealing with a particular person or they're dealing with you and their ex is resurfacing with sexual we are in or venus and retrograde in leo so someone is coming towards them with sexual encounters, not this person going back and forth about what it is that they want, period. Between you and another masculine energy. Because there's a she could have a child with this person or they dated when they was younger. For you women, same scenario, except you could be the person that's being juggled because someone from their past has resurfaced. Now they're trying to figure out what they want. For others of you, I feel like this person is battling between lust and for you and smoothing this out it's a stalemate for some of you someone's managing magic as this person is on their way towards you trying to slow them down or cause a blockage with the illusions in the moon what's the moon the magician and the high priest and the queen of wine yeah it's some bullshit Okay, this is getting ready to be very specific. Major Arcana. The moon, the magician, the high priest is somebody on some bullshit spiritually. This is spiritual manipulation, period. Moon magic. Someone is a divination abuser or they're using divination to see how to stop and block you or your person. That's really the heaviest energy. The moon, the magician, the high priestess. For some of you, you're very intuitive. 
you can have a sense of uh subconscious knowing about what's coming or what to create or where this connection is potential truly lie but you may be battling between intuition and subconscious fears so your manifestations are somehow blocked or hindered or willy-nilly <laughs> that's ancient that gotta be one of my ancestors but willy-nilly manifestations it's hard to, it's like you could have something right here in front of you but you could be fearing and thinking the words or this is your person there could also be a lot of telepathic communication going on between two individuals as well queen of wands king of wands twin flame for a lot of you period i saw it i almost missed it but um they want to create something but there could also be some fear for some of you and the subconscious traumas or they could be holding back suppressing their emotions keeping them secretively which is manipulative with the moon and a magician something is being some energy is being manipulated or some emotions are definitely troublesome someone's desires are suppressed or hidden someone's truest desires are hidden and i love that because that could be someone who has hidden desires of hidden and ill intentions you don't see it or this person's hiding how they feel truly or some things that they have suppressed traumatically high priestess to the moon that they're hiding yet still trying to create something with you which is making it fairly difficult pisces virgo gemini pisces what's the king of wands the hermit again <laughs> this king of wands is something else now this could be a warlock for some of you but for you regular folk that ain't dealing with all this spiritual shit in the astral travel too but um this king of wands could have ghosted you or this is you that did the ghosting but i like a new word for ghosting pull back to go into introspection to think about what it is that they want fairly well could have done that very well could have done that but um they could be feeling a bit detached four cups from you or themselves this king of wands potential is passion assertion direction initiative creation inspiration courage bravery resilience but they could be giving you the cold shoulder because they burdened with something their emotions for one all right some of y'all definitely dealing with a Virgo. We got meeting in my bedroom by Silk. Mm, well then. King of Wands, Herman. Ace of Cups. He's in fucking love. This masculine energy is in love. And this shit is scaring them. Yes. They got to go within. Is this love? Because I got to know. Is what I'm feeling they got some internal traumas though nine of wands it's like they really want to fight but they're fighting themselves or oh, this is you what's the hermit they going through a spiritual awakening i don't see it but i'm gonna see it what's the hermit two hermits on the board what's the hermit four of wands <laughs> This person is considering and thinking about or going into introspection about commitment. People around them, community as well. Could be some kind of group they need to walk away from. Somebody in their community, they're going in, going within about, okay, or you need to walk away. It could be in a marriage or a commitment. They want a breakthrough. There's the empress. So it could be a twin flame scenario, a choice between two. Baby mother and a twin or a baby mother and a soulmate. A wife and a soulmate. Somebody got something going on with a third party. But um, this could also be you being healing and you speaking a love language, being affectionate, being stable, grounded. They like that. Um, you're different. Well, this is you. They could be considering marriage or commitment or thinking about what will it take or if they're ready, if they're suited for something stable and solid and as intense as this. Some of you want something serious. They're considering if they're equipped for that. Four of Wands. Aries with the Four of Wands. Could be you. Ten of Pentacles. They're thinking about longevity. They're in their head, though. Hermit, 
Hermit, Hermit, Eight of, Eight of Swords, they're in the head, pessimistic thinking, moon to the high priestess, magician. They want to create something, but they think negatively about it. Daydreaming, illusions, confusion. Okay, someone's also trying to spiritually entrap this person, keeping them cloudy. God see all with the hierophant and the judgment. Okay, Eight of Wands, wait on it. But anyways, this could be about upbringing, social status. They're a very traditional person. They have a certain way of life, a certain way of going about things. Y'all could have religious factors that are different, different upbringings. That could be a factor too, okay? You could be spiritual. They could be religious or vice versa. Or this is about the people that work work with community to the higher for people that work around being perceived one way, they're worried about social status, or they're married, so that could be a situation they're not, they're not ready to let go of because they don't want to feel like a failure, moon to the mistress energy with the, I almost missed that too. Some of you could be this person's mistress or mister because women cheat too, and uh, this person is keeping it like that, which could be a lesson for, for you both because they're worried about what other people think. That's a scenario too, but more than anything, they're going within about a commitment and stability and longevity. And that includes you. This is your read. So, what's the seven of cups? What's the confusion? Some of you could be moving. Six of swords. What's the seven of cups? So, I must have said it. Angel, spirit, guys, ancestors, seven of cups. Page of Pentacles. Full card. Yeah. This is being more consistent, taking initiative to be dedicated, focused, driven, loyal, giving something to this connection. They could be confused about what to do, they could be learning a lot from you, too. They could have a kid. They can be confused if that kid is theirs. But I know someone wants to move forward. They could feel like they don't have enough to offer you. They in their head a lot. Okay. Okay. All right. Spirit said they're trying to make a practical decision. Seven of Cups is confusion. Page of Pentacles is practicality to start over or to fix this or to move forward or to get this going. Magician to the food card. All right, now that makes sense. They're trying to make a practical decision, hermit, hermit, about this love, about this family, about stability, about upbringing. That's why they're sitting there in contemplation. Spirit gave me the title. They're trying to make a practical decision. Okay.